All right, what's up, people? And what's up? This is your second fucking... You, you got two videos off of me. It's hard to do, man. Join the elite, man. <laughs> Patrick Cayley. I'm pretty sure you're someone else, but that's okay. We're all someone else on the internet, right, bro? <laughs> this is going to be fun. Because you're asking me about a guy named Boyd Rice. Who is Boyd Rice? Well, I don't know. He's a fucking uh, musician. That's who I would say. M musician, uh, amateur philosopher, perhaps. Um, but this, I, I know what you're really asking about, which is the important part. And I'm going to give my two cents. This is not going to be a long video. Trust me. I don't have too many thoughts on this. Um. At a certain point, it was revealed that Anton LaVey's original vision for who would succeed him as the head of the Church of Satan was none other than Mr. Boyd Rice, who would have been a much better choice, by the way. And everybody agrees on that. That's the point. That's the point. Except he had to settle for a lesser musician, <laughs> not magician, musician, that's a music guy, right, <laughs> in Peter Gilmore. The organs and all that bullshit, right? So he passed over. Basically, what, what happened was he offered the high priesthood to Boyd Rice, and Boyd Rice turned it down. Uh, for what I would consider noble philosophical reasons. <laughs> At a certain point later on, there is a famous, and who knows if it's true, this could be ONA disinformation if you fucking dismiss these informations, <laughs> because everything is just a narrative at this point. Whose narrative do you want to fucking believe? So Boyd Rice basically got offered the high priesthood of the Church of Satan before Anton passed, and he wanted to give it to him, and dude was like, no, fuck you, go suck a dick. And then later on, he regretted it, and he wanted to come back because, obviously, he saw what happened. Peter Kilmore's a fucking faggot. I don't care if he's married to... Is he married to Peggy... Uh, what was her? Peggy, Peggy the Peg? Nadramia. Yeah, Peggy Nadramia, right? Are they technically married? They're both fucking gay. It doesn't make any fucking sense. He likes dudes, and she likes chicks. Oh, wait, I get it. Okay, 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 wait, wait, I get it. Oh, so that's why the, the that's why the, what, what's the one that's going on nowadays? Y'all gonna have to help me with this shit, because I, is it the Temple of Satan? Is that the, is that the one? The running around with the queer flags and shit, and they're talking about this is Satanism? <laughs> with the rainbows and the fucking unicorns dancing off their fucking foreheads? Really? <laughs> okay, fine, fine. You know what? All that does, all that does <laughs> is what it does. Let me let me help you all with this. And this is why I think I get canceled by so many people. People don't want to talk to me, etc. Is because what they're doing is <laughs> they're, they're pointing motherfuckers this way, and they're like, "Hey, man, go over here. <laughs> we we got a cart waiting for you, bro." <laughs> Just, hey, hey, bro, just step inside that fucking, yeah, that thing that looks like it's meant for horses. Yeah, just get in there, bro. And we're going to have some special fucking, like, seatbelts for you. Except they ain't seatbelts. Nigga, they fucking handcuffs, nigga. What the fuck? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why none of y'all get me because none of y'all fucking, <laughs> y'all soft. That's what we call it. Y'all soft, man. Y'all wouldn't go, like, fucking, like. You gotta, oh wait, you telling me, you telling me to run this corner, I gotta fight three motherfuckers back to back? No, I'm telling you, you gotta fight seven niggas back to back. What you gotta say about that, nigga? What's up? <laughs> oh, shit. Let me go, let me go, let me, let me go turn this corner. Yep. <laughs> For fuck's sake, man. For fuck's sake. So Boyd Rice, okay, we're getting back to this motherfucker. Anton LaVey offered him something. He chose not to take it. Then later on, he said he would take it, but he was regretful about not taking it before. Yada, yada, yada. There is no baton 
other than the one that you already have in your hand. See, nigger, that's what I'm fucking talking about. If you don't understand, Satanism has moved past Anton LaVey. His vision, his methodology, his entire fucking existence was built. <laughs> Come on. Mid-60s to mid-70s. That's who this nigger was. And you know that. I know that. Why are we still fucking trying to <laughs> deconstruct that shit? Boyd Rice, oh yeah, sure, 100%. If he'd have took it when he was offered it, it would have been cool. He didn't, and the rest is fucking history, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Boyd Rice, yeah, sure. He was the natural successor. and I, We all agree on that. Everybody fucking agrees on that. We just know that's not what happened. And you can't come in, like, you can't come in late game and be like, well, you know what? <laughs> That's why Peter Gilmore has his nigga by his neck. Dude, he, he, that was just a publicity stunt. He's probably trying to promote a fucking album or some shit. You think Boyd Rice cares about the philosophy? He's probably changed his philosophy more times than I can count on my fucking. Oh, I only have one hand? It doesn't matter. That ring makes it a billion hands. I know, right? You wonder what I mean by that, don't you? See, here's the thing. Oh, did I say this was going to be a short video? It's going to be relatively short, nigger. It's going to be relatively short. <laughs> Boyd Rice is who he is. If you want to look him up on Wikipedias and YouTubes and fucking like TikToks and fucking wherever the fuck else you might find a weirdo, go do that. I don't care. To me, he made one, one wrong decision that he could have made better and it would have changed everything except it would have fucking changed nothing and you, you and I both know it. I'm sorry, I forget your name again. Patrick Clayton. We'll call you Patrick Clayton. I'll give you a made up fucking name. How about that? <laughs> you think I don't know your name? I'm just going to call you Patrick Clayton because why? Who is that guy? Who cares? Who the fuck cares about Boyd Rice? Show me something that he's done metaphysically that matters. At least to you. I mean, it, it doesn't have to matter to me because probably nothing will. But just go ahead. Go ahead with that. Okay. Here's the part where I'm going to just stop the video. And I'm going to let you go ahead and fucking like find whatever you want on Boyd Rice and say this is what he... Fucking that. Oh, fuck. I was trying for the eight minutes. It fucked up. Now I need to fucking find a prime number. Shit. Give me a prime number. So I know 13 is a prime number. Fuck you. I don't want 13. I want something better. 15 is not a prime number. Five and three. It's divisible. God damn it. 17? Yeah, 17 is cool. 19? Yeah, 19 is cool. Come on. Keep counting up. What's next? Oh, shit. That's next. 